Hello guys, today we're going to analyze the Russian school of boxing. And the first thing I want you to take a look at is how that stance of that fighter dressed in red. It is a typical stance of a Soviet Russian school of boxing designed to keep your opponent at a certain range and hold the jab in his face. Combined with its typical Russian Soviet footwork, this boxing style is probably one of the most dangerous and one of the most annoying styles to deal with. And in this video, I'm going to show you why. Now, in the following sequence, I want you to watch very closely how the red fighter is moving, okay? It is dangerous and lethal because with every move he makes, his whole weight is behind him in every punch he throws. If you know how a Superman punch looks like when somebody jumps with his whole body into the punch, this is basically every jab and every right hand that is thrown. The opponent is aware of this power and he's afraid of that. So the red fighter starts to utilize some vicious feints where he pretends to throw the right hand but does not and then he throws the attack from another angle. As we can see in the following sequence. The distance is established and he jumps in with his whole body. Okay, here comes the next specialty of the Russian school of boxing. The Russian fighters have no problem working while they're going backwards because the school was designed during the Soviet times to prove the Russian fighters to be more superior in the Olympic Games. Hence, the cunning strategy was to make all the other fighters come and then counter them on their way basically, so they would pull them out of their stands, uh, lose their balance, make them come, and then KO them on their way when they're trying to close that distance gap. And this is exactly why these Russian fighters have such a provocative footwork where they move back and forth, back and forth, because they're trying to drag you out, lose balance, and then to counter you. And um, as we can see in the following sequence, he's going to counter him while moving backwards. Now here you can see another example of a feint based on the fear of the right hand. Because even the jab here is thrown with a whole way behind. Another feint. And here one more time, please watch closely how he moves out of range once he feels that his opponent starts to counter him. What an annoying and provocative style of footwork. It's like a bee that you cannot get out of your face, it's, it's uh, attacking you all the time, and once you get mad, it starts to run away from you. And then when he feels safe, he comes back to attack, like those hunting animals in a desert that would not leave you alone and try to eat you up slowly, piece by piece, stalking you until you just can't take it anymore. You can see he's just eating him out alive. It's a get in, get out, faint, get in, get out. There's another faint. Watch closely. Right faint is about to come. There, as I predicted. And then... He just keeps on attacking un until you have nothing left. Okay, let's take a look at the whole round and analyze from the scratch one more time. So this is the second round. Both fighters have taken some rest. And I want you to take a look at the whole strategy basically from the beginning to the end. And we're also going to see if maybe we discover even some new spec aspects in the second round. Let's, let's see if the strategy remains or even some, some changes have been, uh, will be made, so to speak. Okay, so right now it works just like the red fighter wants it to work. The blue fighter has gotten more aggressive because he understood that he is losing the rounds. Um, this is perfect for the red fighter because now he can counter while moving backwards. We have seen these counters just in the beginning. 
and now they're just uh, getting more close, so to speak. So I predict this in, in this round, the red fighter will have more opportunities to counter, and then we will see a lot of in and out, in and out work uh, also. You see some active attack. In, in, faint, in. Another faint, in and out. See, another faint, got in. And when he feels that the other fighter has become too aggressive, he will leave the range again. Now he got courageous. You can see that the blue fighter is already worn out. He actually does not have stamina. And his punches don't have uh, a lot of quality and precision behind him anymore. And the red fighter can sense that because he has eaten him up in the first round already. Now we can see um, now, now he's just starting to... Uh, do more in and out work and punish him with his right hand. This right hand actually starts to land more often than in the first round. That's because the blue fighter has slowed down. He has taken too much punishment. Uh, he lost confidence. He does not have a game plan so far how to cope with this strategy. That's why I said this style is particularly annoying because it's hard to, to develop a game plan against that. And the other special thing about this footwork that it looks exhaustive, but in reality, they know how to recover while they're moving. It looks like, you know, you need a lot of stamina in this back and forth, back and forth, but they actually have a strategy how to rest in this movement so they don't get tired that, that fast. And, you know, it's, it's almost boring, but I have to say that most of the fight, if I have to sum it up in one sentence, is just slowly eat him up, eat him up, eat him up with the same thing all over again. If you like my content, don't forget to click on like and subscribe and visit my website if you're looking for affordable and high quality boxing equipment and apparel.